Catalytic converter theft is up across the country, and since we are currently living in a Toyota Prius, which is one of the most targeted models for this kind of crime, we've decided to do something about it. It is currently 41, 41 degrees in Portland. Holy cow. Is that 105? Oh my Fahrenheit? God. All right, so today we are doing something we have been wanting to do since we started this journey, and that is put a catalytic converter shield cover thing on our Prius. Um, a lot of you have told us that this is an important thing that we need to do. And apparently and, uh, the rate of catalytic converter theft has gone up a lot over the last like few years, and, whoop, and Priuses in our year particularly prone. So we're heading off to uh, clean up the car first so that we look presentable before we go into uh, into the shop. Yeah, yeah, this bad boy needs clean. So we've been on the road for about five weeks now, and I feel like it's been pretty clean, but you start <laughs> to notice, like, bits of sand and dirt. And I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to be living in this car, I want it to be pretty clean. So we're going to do a nice big vacuum. We're going to clean the outside, clean the box, because that really needs it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, we got a car wash, as you might have seen from the last episode, but uh, this is going to just take it to a, a completed level. Exactly. We have this idea for a TikTok um, where we wash the car and then as a joke, because we're living on the road, we wash ourselves at the same time using the thing. Um, it's just supposed to be kind of stupid and funny. Uh, hopefully it's stupid and funny because I'm gonna get friggin' soaked with like car wash water. At least we have our dirty towel <laughs> in the back of the car. All right, so we've dried off. The car is clean, and we're here at Everett Auto Works in Portland to get our cat shield put on. Let's uh, figure it out. Hey, how's it going? Hey, it's going well. Okay, um, I'm slipping in. Apparently, I was talking to Cole on the phone. Yeah, cat shield, right? Yeah. 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 So that's actually it. Yeah. Wow. So that's it. Yeah. Depending on what generation Prius you have, yeah. is how big it is. So this is one of the smaller ones. Yeah. That's all you need just to block it. So you can actually do your own cat shield like system if you just like have a welder and you know how to do stuff like that. But obviously, we have no idea how to do any of that stuff. Out, but... <laughs> so uh, cat shield reached out to us when we were exploring this option and uh, they've sent us this shield for free so we're going to be linking them down in the description um, because from what I can tell they are the best in the business and uh, hopefully this works out. Look at how good that car looks right now. I'm glad we didn't bring it in. <laughs> <I'm> so, <laughs> so they just squeezed us in between appointments. Uh, so we're going to go back, check it out. But first, we're going to check out Pal's books, walk around downtown Portland while the car is going to catch the up. Oh, look at this nifty little piece of public transit going by right here. It's the Powell. Oh, that's neat. I like that a lot. There's Powell's, the famous Powell's books. Yes. <laughs> I like normally I'm not into tourist attraction things, but it's a bookstore. So we got to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been here. It's great. I, I have Okay, so we've made 
made some selections. Selections, you first. I have gotten The Ministry of the Future by Kim Stanley Robinson. This was a recommendation from someone on Instagram, I believe. This, um, I bought the third book in this trilogy without having the second book in the trilogy. So I'm glad that they had the one copy left. This is from the Old Phil's trilogy by Jane Gardner. They had one copy. Yes. Yeah. We got books. Sorry about that. Oh, awesome, y'all. Awesome. Thank you. Like this. If you just hollered at me, you know, come on. Yeah. There we go. I figured this chair was here for a reason. Yeah, we put him out here. Thank you. Guys. You take it easy, eh? I will try. <laughs> okay. I'm hanging on. All right. Have a good day. Eh? Thank you, guys. No, not a problem. Thank you. Wow, um, well, we just helped a seemingly elderly person up off the street here. And I think the really hard thing, I mean, like, we live in a city that has a lot of people who are homeless, right? And there are shelters and stuff near our old apartment. But yeah. it pr seems pretty desperate here in Portland right now. Yeah. The last time we came to Portland, we came separately, and we both just hung out downtown. We're like, wow, this is really intense I th and things are worse like I, yeah. I, I know that um, you know there's a lot of economic struggles going on in the US and I, I think we had avoided them up until this point just because we were in more rural areas but um, yeah it, you, you can you can feel that yeah. that things have changed um, and uh, yeah we yeah. just we wanted to share that here in the video because I think it's easy for us to exclude a lot of the sort of less nice looking things um well but... i also think like you know you go into a city and it's not just like it's experiencing these like tourist things right like you have to see what the place is actually like um yeah and trying yeah. to do that in a like non-exploitative way but to look at like the reality of like damn like yeah this is real a, yeah there's a lot yeah. of people who need a lot of help and it's sad i, I hope they're getting it i i don't know yeah how's how spicy like Me super spicy is really hot okay we'll do yeah. medium uh, is it possible to put them in these bowls no you yeah. can't do that eh you'd need four of those bowls to put one in <laughs> oh wow <laughs> oh okay <laughs> all right well we tried to use our own containers we but he said we literally need four of these for one dish and i'm like Okay. Well, how much food are we getting? I, I guess we might have over ordered, but uh, we heard about this place via another YouTuber who does like food reviews here in Portland, and uh, they have really good plant-based options along with their hand-pulled noodles. So we're very excited for this. Okay, after searching for a good long while for somewhere to eat, we found a spot. Found a spot. Look at how much food we got. Oh my God. This is, look, look at that. Like, we have ordered $25 worth of food. Look at the amount of food that we have here. This is crazy. We did manage to use our own chopsticks which is kind of nice. Let's see how it tastes. Oh. Wow. The stretched noodle, Portland, Oregon, unreal. All right. <clears throat> we were just gonna finish it there, but this is how we do the spice test. <laughs> Will the napkin stick to Levi's forehead? Oh. Whoa, what about your cheek? It's usually your cheek. Oh. <laughs> it's only because it's too windy. Wow. I gotta be honest though. That is very, very sticky. They're not sticky. Spicy. God damn. Your brain stopped working. It's so spicy. Oh my lord. That is crazy. We should have asked for mild. We should have gone for mild. All right. We're back at Everett Auto Works. All right. She's on the hoist. Oh my god. Was your name Oscar? Oscar. Oscar, I'm Levi. Hi, that's Great to meet you, man. Yeah, I'm Levi. Thanks for uh, helping us out. No, good. Yeah, have you heard of people getting their cats stolen? Yeah, we do, uh, I say maybe a couple of weeks. 
Really? Yeah. And I see the expensive ones, and it's coming with the whole assembly and everything, like two, three thousand bucks. Wow. In place. Yeah. Oh, Holy. I, I get in a stolen in December, my cat in my car, in front of my house. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Holy. Yeah. Crazy. Like, we knew that it was bad, um, and that cats are getting stolen really, really often, but like, Two yeah, times it's real. a week they're working on it here, replacing them. Like that's wild to me. Oh. That's wild to me. Wow. Okay, there it is. Wow. Holy, that's uh, that's nice. That fits in there perfectly, eh? It's like it's designed to do that. <laughs> Look at that, that looks freaking great. It's the cleanest part of the car now. <laughs> wow, Oscar, are you kidding me? Dude, thanks so much, man, I appreciate that. So this is the CAD that we would have to replace if we got one stolen. That's serious. And how much are those? This one is uh, 1,500 to 3,000 bucks. Wow. Just one part. Oh my God. And not installing everything Yeah, else. not the yeah. gaskets, not anything else that goes with it. Holy. Damn. Okay, well, obviously, we just had a great experience at Every Auto. Oh, this thing is. Just leave it. Just leave it. Oh, there you go. So, we have to give a huge shout out to Everett Auto in Portland. Um, apparently, they're a long standing institution of uh, Portland, and it showed. Yeah, everyone who worked there, and we talked to like five different people. All of them were so nice. Like, yeah. Where are you going on your trip? Are you getting the cat shield on? Like, super helpful. And they even let us park our car there while we were walking around town. Like, it was so lovely of them. And of course, Cat Shield uh, made this happen because they sent us the product and we put it on our vehicle. Um, but it is amazing to hear just how bad of an issue this is becoming. Yeah. And uh, I've said it multiple times today. I'm, I just feel so much better having this thing on the car because if that were to happen, not only is it like thousands of dollars to replace it, but like yeah. now we have to deal with this car situation and we have to drive and find somewhere to do it, blah, 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 blah. Go and show them some love. We're gonna leave a link down in the description if you have a hybrid or just regular vehicle that has one of these in it, which is probably most new-ish vehicles. It's an awesome solution that costs way, way, way less than having to replace your catalytic converter. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. What? Wow. wow. <laughs> oh my god.